Touchdown occurred at 6.25 p.m. north of the Trans-Canada Highway, where the tornado overturned a semi-trailer and tractor trailer. Rather than following the typical northeastward trajectory, it meandered southeast, then east, south, and east again, executing tight loops and sharp turns that confounded both observers and forecasters alike. At F1 to F2 intensity, the vortex tore into the town's flour mill, causing over 1 million in damage as walls buckled and heavy equipment was tossed. After weakening briefly to a F0 while widening to roughly 50 yards, the tornado re-intensified, reaching its maximum width of about 150 yards and regaining strength as it surged back toward Ellie. In Ellie, the tornado intensified to F4, devastating a cluster of homes along Ellie Street. Four houses were destroyed, one well-built bolted home was lifted completely off its foundation, thrown into the air, and disintegrated. Evidence of wind speeds exceeding 261 mph required for its F5 rating. <laughs>